Hi, this is a quick demo video of the text-to-speech software called Balabolka and this is free to download and it works on any Windows systems. So, to start it, I'm going to click on the Balabolka icon and up pops the interface. You'll notice it has a yellow background, that's because I've customised it. Uh, to customise the appearance of the interface, you go to View, Font and Colours, and here you can choose your font, the size of the font, uh, how you want the text coloured and what you want the background to look like as well. When you're happy with that, you can click on OK and you're basically ready to use it. The golden rule with Balabolka is that if you can copy text from any format and paste it into the window, it will read it back to you. So for this particular case, I'm going to go to Google Chrome and I have some text here I'm going to highlight and copy and then paste it into the window. To have it read back I simply place my cursor where I want it to start and hit the play button. Harvard format. Writing a professional essay requires a set of skills that include technical and qualitative expertise, in-depth knowledge of the given subject and Okay, so that voice there is Stuart and is one of the two Scottish voices that are free to download um, if you're studying HE in Scotland. Um, the other voice that is available to you is called Heather and I shall now try that one. And other aspects as well. One of the essential skills is the ability to present information in the format. The controls at the top here mean that I can actually change the speed of uh, the artificial speech, the pitch as well, and the volume of the playback. And it uh, works equally well with text copied from websites, PDF files, or Word documents. As I say, if you can copy and paste the text, it will work. The other thing with Balabolka is that you can create MP3 files. And to do this, I go to File in the top left-hand corner, and scroll past save and save as, which would save the text file, and click on save audio file. Give the file a name. And in this particular case, I'm saving it onto my desktop. If I had a device plugged in, such as a digital recorder or my phone, I could navigate to that device and save the MP3 directly onto it. So in this case, I'm going to click on save. OK, and it has now created the MP3. I'll minimise Balabolka and drag the file down to the centre here. And as you can see, Windows recognises it as an audio file, so if I just double click on it... Harvard format writing a professionalist requires a set of skills. Windows Media Player just kicks in and plays it back as it would any other audio file. And this concludes um, this short demo video.